The concept I'm trying to teach my students today is expected value is a concept that aims to calculate the expected value of a certain outcome. This concept is normally being used uh, in business analytics. Let your team decide, go and strategize whether you want to change product, change city, or a combination of both. Okay, your five minutes starts now. So today in class we had a slightly different program so we played this game which is quite similar to Monopoly actually so we were tasked to be paired in groups of two or three and we had to choose between either chicken soup or ice cream and try to sell the product It's different because we are actually learning through a game process like you would usually think that during classes it's just students sitting like in rows and listening to the teacher talk, 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 talk and just write down what he or she says. If we learn through a game, I think that students are able to learn better because most of the students will feel very bored and will start to fall asleep in class. I, I don't think any teenager will want to sit down and just do worksheets for two hours straight. So I think this type of program is a very good change, like just to give the, give, let the lesson become more interesting and allow the student to take more interest in the subject and yeah, have a better time in class. So we try to keep things uh, more refreshing for the kids so they will not see mathematics as just purely blind formulas and solving algebraic equations for example. We want them to be able to appreciate uh, mathematics uh, to another level. If a, if a student would like to study business in the future, this is a very good opportunity for them to learn and see like a little bit of what businessmen actually do in order to succeed and create a business that will flourish in this like in a competitive city with many other people. So yeah, I think it's really good for the people who are interested in taking up business in the future.